Job satisfaction now stands at a multi-decade high. That's according to new data from the conference boards. So what's behind the jump and joy? Joining us now for a deep dive into the data is Yahoo Finance's Diane King Hall. Diane, so what are we learning? I mean, I love that we're talking about a jump in joy and more. People are more satisfied. In fact, workers are now the most content since the conference board started tracking job contentment in 1987. According to the conference board, job satisfaction rose to 62.3% in 2022. That's up 2% from a year earlier and a far cry from the lows of this survey back in 2010 when the job market was still recovering from the Great Recession. Now, fueling the increase, a tight labor market and flexible work arrangements. Measures that saw the greatest uptick, work-life balance and improvements in workload and the performance review process, perks and pay improved with people reporting being happier with health plans, wages and bonuses and the potential for future growth. Across the more than two dozen metrics measured, hybrid workers were the most satisfied compared to fully remote or fully on-site workers. In fact, all sectors saw an increase in satisfaction. Uh, you know, it's worth noting that the survey was conducted before the most right. recent spate of layoffs that we've seen. So I'd be curious to see how that shifts. The hybrid work environment, Diane, though, is, I think, a really big one. Because right. I will tell you, just from experience, just being in this office, you don't see workers in every day, it's true. But, but that flexibility, it feels like, is increasingly what's allowing companies to keep employees on board. Right. And, and that is that is one thing that they noted. There's one of the things they noted in the survey was that this could shift when they do the survey again, because keep in mind, this is annual. This is a look back at 2022. And there was also a divergence in who was happier. Men were happier than women, signaling that pay and promotions were still a problem when it comes to the gender pay gap. You're looking at that gap in terms of the numbers between men and women, how they see different things like pay and other perks in general. So again, pay particularly a sticking point with women, women less satisfied with job characteristics like promotions, uh, performance reviews, growth potential. And so you're seeing women in terms of the data that they've conducted in this and a separate survey more likely to quit their jobs than their male counterparts. So that was one interesting divergence. And again, kicking it forward to the future, we could certainly see some changes with how work dynamics are changing right now in terms of more companies calling back workers. But again, there's still been this push pull with employers and employees in terms of coming back to the office and employers having to basically settle with continuing this really hybrid workforce because the pandemic really changed how we work. Yeah, the pandemic certainly has changed how we work and also what people are demanding, right? right? I think a lot of workers right now feel entitled. They think that they should still be able to work from home because simply they have been doing that yeah. over the last three years. I'm curious though how managers are looking at all of this data, right? Because there are a number of surveys that point to the exact opposite, that mm -hmm. people are not satisfied because they're being asked to come into the office more often or because they're not given that flexibility right. that they did have during the pandemic. Exactly. So some of the metrics that were measured in this could certainly change as they conduct this for 2023 or certain responses to the uh, areas that were measured in this, such as just happiness with work life balance, uh, performance responses from, say, managers, because managers may have different views on the hybrid work arrangement. But again, it still remains something that's really kind of part of the makeup of how corporations are still operating. Sure, again, managers such as the banks and whatnot want people back in, but look, we've looked at, we've talked about New York City office foot traffic. We talked about that recently. It's still below uh, or just above 50% of what it was pre-pandemic, so I don't know. I don't know, but I like the fact that at least this survey, it was, it was a happy the floor, the people were happy. Job, people yes. were happy at yes. one time. All yes, right. let's focus on the positive. <laughs> Diane King Hall, thanks so much. You got it.